So welcome back. So today we'll be going over Safe Flight Defense's first response. So when you guys go on the website, you guys call us up, you guys are ordering with confidence, you guys know what you're getting, and also too is you guys know what this vest could do. It's a very versatile, it's a very practical vest. Now, when you go on the website, when you, when, the first option is going to be the color. Now it comes in three different colors. It's going to come in a navy blue, it's going to come in a red, and it's also going to come in a black. Now, so you're going to pick your color option. Now, now, just really quick, now, you guys will be probably thinking, oh, no, it comes in the high vis. So if you want to order the high vis, it's going to be another, um, it's, it's another category. It's, it's a high vis on its own. So if you want the, um, the high vis, you'll just do the same steps, but you're going to do it in the high vis. You only have the color option. But everything else we go over is going to be um, you know, the same thing across the board, except for the, the styles. The, the, mod the high vis only comes in one style. It's going to be the modified, and we'll go over that. So you're going to pick your color. The, uh, the, out of the three colors. You're gonna have the navy blue, you're gonna have the black, and you're gonna have the, um, the red, the, the nice fire engine red. It's a very, very nice color. A lot of the par fire departments, they love it. Range officers love that color. So the second option is gonna be the style. So you're gonna be asking, what's the style? Now, if you click on the website and you click on the different styles, the first one that pops up is the modify. Now the modify is going to be um, the long patch across the front. It's a 10 by three patch across the front and it's 11 by four patch across the back. So you'll pick your style. Now that's the modified. The classic is gonna have a four by four square patch across the front, but you'll still have the 11, uh, the 10, uh, the 11 by four patch across the back. So you'll pick your style, you either go with the modified or you go with the classic. Um, the, cla the modified, I like it because you could still add smaller patches if needed. Um, right here, you can put you can mount your badge if it's Velcro. Um, right here, and you put your name patch. So the modified gives you a lot of different mounting options for your patches. So I really like this one uh, for departments, uh, especially fire departments, that they still um, uh, require you to wear your badge. You know your your metal badge. You're gonna you're gonna use this one right here. And then also too is with the patches, you could call us up, go on their custom, and you could actually put your name here. So you could put you know firefighter officer and then your your badge number. This all whatever you want, you could get it uh, printed on here. We do custom work. So all the patch work, you want your department name, you want your department name on the back. Um, we could do that too as well. But we'll we'll get to that. Now the next step is going to be reflective. Do you want reflective or you don't want reflective? So when you order the vest. This is what the reflective is going to look like. It's going to come with one reflective strip across the front. It's going to come with one reflective strip across the back. It's going to come with the reflective straps on the, on the, on the sides and also up on the back up, up here as well. Now the non-reflective, of course, is going to be non-reflective. No reflective strips. Very nice, clean look. You know, so if your department requires you're going to be out in traffic a lot, I would go with the reflective. So you're going to pick reflective, non-reflective, yes or no. Very simple, you're done. Next thing is the size. Now, I get asked all the time, what size do what should I go with? Now we have a sizing chart on there. You're gonna scroll a little bit further down on the website, um, you know, on the, on the screen. Scroll a little bit further down, there's a sizing chart on there. It's about 95% accurate. Now just remember, Safe Light Defense offers free exchanges. So if for some reason that vest doesn't fit you properly or you get it, don't worry. We will exchange it out until we get that vest fitting perfectly on you. Okay, so and also too is there's also a quick fit button. So you, you'll hit that button, put your height and weight in there, and it'll tell you what size too as well. So if you're kind of hesitant on with the sizing chart, hit that button, put your height and weight in there, and it'll tell you what size you'll fit in the vest. So now you got the sizes down. Next thing you're gonna go over with the patches. Now again, patches come with this vest, the, the patches that are the default patches that are on the website come with this vest. So you're gonna pick your patches, it has like security, EMS. Um, police, rescue, fire, stuff like that. Now it comes, the patches come in white. They're gonna look like this. If you want black, if you want yellow, you want reflective, it's gonna be an add-on charge, but you click that and you, and you can get these in reflective, you get yellow, black, and so on. If you want custom, if you want your department's name on the back, you can do that as well. You can modify every single patch on this. So you have your back patch, which is gonna be 11 by four patch. You're gonna have, on the modified, you're gonna have your front patch which is a 10 by three patch, all right? Then you're gonna have your utility pouch patch, okay? And that's gonna be, uh, we got one here. So you can also modify this patch as well. Um, you know, you can modify on the classic, you can modify, so you can modify the classic patch, which comes off, so that's how it looks with the patch off. 
and this patch is the same on the classic or the modified. So you could put you could customize this patch. A lot of departments, what they'll do is on the modified with the longer one, they will go with. Um, They'll put their officer's uh, name right here and they'll just go with big police on the front. Fire departments will just go with fire with the red. Um, so they'll go fire here. They'll put firefighter. Um, same thing with police officers. They'll, they'll put their name and stuff right there. So after you pick your patches, you're all set to go. So you got your color, you got your size, you got your reflective, non reflective, or reflective. You got all that. You're ready to go. But then you say, you know what? What does this thing hold? I mean, what do the pockets really do? I mean, how, how much can they hold? Well, let me show you. I, had, I set this one up for like a law enforcement officer. All right, so I have an AR-15 um, mounted right here. You could actually put a radio in here. So I just simulate it, just I put an AR-15 mag. You could actually fit two AR-15 mags. Uh, but more realistic, I just went with one AR-15 mag. All right, so you could put your radio here if you want, AR-15 radio, or what else you want to put there. So it's, it's that large enough. And you can see, this is an AR-15 mag. I'm putting it in straight. I'm putting it in, you know, um, I'm putting it sideways and then straight. You can still see a lot of room in there. So this is a very large pouch um, that you could put a very large radio, especially for your departments. I see state police, they carry the big Sabres, the big Motorola's. This will fit that radio. Um, and you come here, it's just simulating just to show you how, how much these pockets could hold. I have two Glock full-size magazines in here, um, side by side. So that just shows you how big it is. You can also fit your um, those um, uh, flashlights in here or so on, whatever you want to put, some medical stuff. Now on the bigger pouch, this pouch actually measures six inches by seven inches. Now that's just the pouch alone, but look how much this thing holds. This is a full-size, what is this, Stinger flashlight. Full-size Stinger flashlight fits in there. You guys couldn't even tell it was in there. I mean, that's how much this pocket holds. All right, so a full-size Stinger flashlight, full-size scissors, medical scissors, and a tourniquet. So you could probably fit probably about three or four, if you're, if you're in the medical field, you could probably fit about three or four tourniquets in here easily on top of some gauze, blood clot, and so on. You know, so that just shows you. So this is six inches by seven inches, but you can see how much you could adjust this pouch to open up if you need to put bigger uh, bigger items in there. So if this this one's um, up on top, I mean that's how much you could put stuff in there. You couldn't even tell prior to me showing you guys how what, what was in here, what was actually in here, um, that there was stuff in there. So I mean that this this holds a lot. Oh, you guys say, hey, well, what about rifle protection? Well, this isn't called a multi-threat vest for no reason. So all you're gonna do is simply do is when you have your soft body armor in there, you get called where there's a you know a active shooter and he's using a high power rifle. You're worried about your guys. All you're gonna simply do is you're gonna open up what you guys probably couldn't even tell. There's a slot right there. All right, it's a very nice concealed slot. All you're gonna do is open that up. All right, and this velcro is very strong, but you're gonna open that up and you're just gonna drop that plate in there. All right, so you drop that plate in there. And now you just took this level 3A vest to um, a level 4 in conjunction with. Now you just took it from handgun shotguns to stopping uh, rifle rounds, um, 2 2 3, 5 5 6, 308 rounds, all by just stop throwing that plate in there. And then you also, to it, you could throw that plate in the back as well. It has that same um, slot. So typically, what you're going to do is when you're riding to the scene, if you guys are on the rig, you guys are in your squad car, you throw, it, you throw in that front plate. And then when you get out, you don't want to go slick, you don't want to be exposed, you're going to have your partner throw in that back plate, boom, bam, you're done. You just took your, your vest up to a level four in conjunction with, and um, you're good to go. All right, so we talked about the in conjunction with uh, by adding the rifle plates to it. Now, it's really simple, you're just going to throw in the front, you're going to throw in the back. So let's talk about the high vis. Now, like I said in the beginning, the high vis is its separate category. So when you go on the first responder vest, you won't be able to pick this color. You only have three options, the black, the navy blue, and the fire engine red. I call it fire engine red, but it's really red. So you're gonna have to go out of the page and you're gonna have to go back to um, where the vest is at, the carriers or the body armor, and pick the high vis. Now, like I said, it's its own category. So when you pick it, it's gonna be exactly the same thing as um, make it from modified to classic. So if you guys want the classic, um, style it is not offered in the in the first i um, in the high-vis vest so it's just going to come a standard just like that now the nice thing with the high-vis vest is 
Now, I have the patches on here with the black background. Now, typically, it comes free um, when you guys pick them drop-down boxes with the patches. It's going to come with the high-vis uh, patch. But I went with, just to show you guys a different option, different look, with the black background with the white text. But typically, it's going to come with the, the high-vis background with the white text. And again, same thing, 11 by, uh, 10 by 3 in the front, 11 by 4 in the back. And also, too, you're going to have your... Um, your utility pouch too as well. Six, and a, six inches by seven inches, same pouch. You can put your AR-15 mag, any type of radio pretty much is going to fit in here. And also to your pistol mags. So exact same vest, well, the same as well. And also too, it has, you can see up on top with the Velcro. So if you look on the Velcro strip right there, it has a lapel so you can actually mount your radio to it. Um, a lot of times too is because you have that Velcro in the front, some officers or some security guys will mount their mic to here or their mic uh, mounted to the lapel up here up on top. So you can mount your uh, radio mic here, have your radio here, loop it under, come out, and you mount it right here. It'll be a nice, clean look too as well. So this is going to be the high-vis vest, but I have the, option, I have the optional uh, black background patches with the white text. Like I said, it comes with um, the, the high-vis yellow with the yellow. And that's free. The white with the yellow is free. It comes with the vest. And this, this, is gonna, this is gonna cost you 519 if you want the level 3A plus, which is gonna give you all the same characteristics characteristics as a level 3A, but gonna give you that level one stab rating, also taser resistant, then it's gonna be 619, and that goes the same for all the first responder vests as well. If you use the chief code um, D-A-C-H-I-E-F, it'll give you 10% off your entire purchase. Don't forget to subscribe, like, um, if you have any other questions, link them down below. Send me an email, send me a text. You guys all have my information. Don't hesitate to contact me. Stay safe and God bless people.